Hey guys, we have one topic. We will provide a quick overview and update on the abrupt and significant brightening of the long-term flux level of Tabby Star and show that it now looks like it is in a leveling off phase. So this is the centered 25-day simple moving average of the G-band measurements taken of KIC 8462852 and the data is derived from Bruce Gary. And this is what the light curve looked like approximately 40 days ago, just before the brightening event began. So let's move forward in time to the present date. So Bruce Scarry started to get brighter and brighter data measurements, which are represented by the light blue detached circles, which began to cause the centered 25 day simple moving average to rise to the point where the long term flux level of Tabby Star is now at a whopping 2% brighter than what it was just 40 days ago. This is the fastest and largest brightening of the long term flux level that we have ever seen since monitoring this star. As you can see, it dwarfs the previous brightening event that only rose approximately 1% and over a much more extended period of time. So the brightening trend of the long-term flux seems to be leveling off. So let's take a look now at the normalized G-band light curve of this star. By using the centered 25-day simple moving average as the nominal flux level, we can derive the normalized flux light curve. So calculating the normalized flux for each G-band measurement over this time period, we can produce the following normalized flux light curve showing the short-term flux variations in relationship to the long-term flux level. In other words, in relation to the centered 25-day simple moving average. And as you can see, this is the resultant normalized G-band light curve of KIC 8462852. Notice how the flux level is now at or near the nominal level. And this indicates that the brightening may be running out of steam and a leveling off of the flux may have already begun. Well guys, we don't have any firm explanations for this unexpected brightening of this weird star. As we stated in our last video, it could be reflected light off of something very large uh, added to the star's normal flux, or perhaps a thinning or gap in the material blocking and causing the long-term dimming of Tabby Star. Well, guys, that's all we have now. Take care, and we will see you in our next video update.